All right, hey Cancer, so I am doing a check-in with the person on your mind, and this is gonna be for why this person is afraid to make it happen with you. So we're gonna see what's holding them up. And you're, you're gonna know this is your read by your energy and how they make you feel. So if that doesn't resonate, please check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome to my channel, you guys. All right, so we're gonna pull your energy first. For cancer. All right, so you're all about moving forward. Okay, so um, I'm as far as this dynamic goes, I have no emphasis on a past person, a separation, or new energy. Um, but I feel like, I mean, your energy is on fire. Okay, so you have the Six of Wands, which is kind of victory mode. It's happiness. It's moving forward, pushing ahead. So um, I feel like you could have just recently met somebody um, just because the energy is so positive. It doesn't have to be that you just met somebody. It could just be that you feel like things are moving ahead for you. The Chariot card is a card of success, forward movement, um, just really, really positive energy, man. Wishes being fulfilled. I feel like in your life right now cancer probably money is good you know if you have kids everything's going good with your kids um you know just kind of in the spirit of the holidays right so let's see um how this person makes you feel how this person makes cancer feel going back and forth a little bit but they do bring balance to you um, we have the queen of swords energy and I feel like this is just, um, you know, as far as your feelings, um, they're not trying to, um, overstep your boundaries. Okay. Um, and I feel like you with this person have created boundaries. You get to keep your independence. Um, you know, it's something that you, I just feel like with this um, situation, your feelings are able to be kept in check. I feel like with the two of pentacles for how they make you feel, it could just be like, you do go back and forth. You wonder, um, you know, is it going to happen? Is it some, is something going to happen? Is something positive going to come of this, you know, um, and there could just be a little bit back and forth, but with the six of pentacles, you guys, this is all about uh, it's fairness, it's equality, it's balance. So if you haven't had somebody to bring balance into your life for some time, um, this person definitely creates that for you. So let's see who it is we're talking about. Who is this person? All right. So with the Queen of Pentacles, it could be that you're dealing with a Capricorn or a Sagittarius. You guys could be having a Leo on your, your, your arm in the future. And then we have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is going to be um, Aquarius and Capricorn. All right. So lots of Capricorn energy. Lots of, lots of um, energy all over the place. Um, Here's what I'm going to say, you guys, this person, um, it could be that there's an age gap, all right, between five to eight years. I want to say it doesn't have to be. Um, for who this person is, it's almost like they come through. They're very, very independent, and that's probably what, what makes you feel like they're not going to take away or deduct from your own independence. The Queen of Pentacles energy says so this person's nurturing. They're practical, you know, financially um, stable. They could possibly have kids because the Queen of Pentacles is, a, is in reference to... Um, you know, um, an independent single parent at times, um, they're able to balance everything. Um, with the strength card coming through, they have been through a lot. You know, I feel like the struggle has been real for this person, but it's like, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. And with the Knight of Swords energy, this is one that's all about, if I see something, I'm, I'm gonna want it and I go after it. This is a very successful card. It's a uh, full of ambition, action-oriented um, individual right here. But I'm looking at this more like if I see something, I, I'm, I'm going after it, you know, and I feel like most of the time this person probably gets their way just because of their ambition. Um, let's see how you make this person feel. How do you make this person feel? Conflicted, definitely conflicted, um, especially when it comes to independence. Okay. Um, here's what I'm going to say though. This is like this person's coming through with the five of swords more as a surrender type of energy, kind of like I give in waving the white flag. Maybe this person has been single for a really long time coming through with that queen of pentacles energy. Um, but this is like, I'm going to surrender to this connection. I just, I feel it. Okay. Um, and I feel like with the eight of pentacles, this is more about, you know, working towards and establishing, um, where they want to see the future with you, which I do feel is, you know, that ace of pentacles, that, uh, commitment, um, a new start, new beginning. 
Um, so as far as how they make, how you make them feel, um, it's really, really positive energy. And I feel like this person could go back and forth. That's why they make you go back and forth, but they can see it. It's almost like, okay, fine. I give in cancer. Let's do this. So let's see what scares them about the connection. What's scaring this person about the connection? It's almost like, you know, if you guys are in your thirties or older, um, once we get to a certain age, um, it, it's like, we're done with the small talk. We're done with the playing games. We're done with everything. And what scares this person about this connection is, you know, a possibility of another ending, you know, and if, if you're dealing with somebody older, who's been experienced in relationships, that's a very, very valid um, reason, but it's not a valid, it's not a valid enough reason to not kind of take in and be in pursuit of, of when it comes to the love dynamic, because we're all here for love. We all deserve love. You know, it's, it's a part of every single one of our birthright. Um, so I feel like this person is just more worried about this ending. You know, I'm going to get all deep with somebody. I'm going to feel all the feels for somebody and then boom, it's going to end. So definitely, um, definitely that's a struggle for this person walking away you know as soon as I get to um, my happiness as soon as I get to my fulfillment this person's very very scared that it's going to be stripped away from them so if they're not making moves that's why um, they don't want to go through another heartbreak another um, you know sad ending another sad loss so let's see what their intentions are with you their intentions so here's what I'm going to say. They are going to change that mindset. All right. You have death card coming through, which is transformation and rebirth. And I feel like if anyone's going to um, have this person change their mind cancer, it's going to be you. All right. So this person, what I'm going to say is they are going to get past the conflict. They are going to reprogram their thought process. Look at that. You have the queen and the king of swords showing up in this read. You guys, that's a divine pairing right there. Um, the Empress card is an indication of new beginnings. It's home, it's comfort, it's security. So I do feel like their intentions will be to move forward with you. However, you need to give this person a little bit of time to kind of work through what their fears are. And that will happen. You got the death card showing up here, which shows that this person will transmute the negative energy. So let's see um, where this is going in the future. What's it looking like the next few weeks? The next few weeks. Wow, look at that. You got the star card coming through with the sun. So happiness all around you guys. Um, when I, I didn't set an intention for a time frame on this, but I mean, I feel like it's going to be sooner rather than later. Um, when I did the meditation, I, you know, in my head, I, I, my intention was a few weeks. So just keep that in mind. Give this person a little bit of time to kind of work through their own feelings and emotions. But I just feel like um, this is an inspiring um, dynamic here. You guys create courage, confidence, and independence within each other. I feel like this is a very um, highly attractive um, a pair that we have going, like you guys are very, very much attracted to each other. And all I can see through this is happiness. So let's see what your advice is for now, what you should focus on, where you should be putting your energy for now. You guys need to make sure that you're leaving your heart space wide open for this connection. So I feel like your energy is really, really um, positive right now. Um, and what Spirit's saying, there is going to be a change on this. All right, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, I feel like you guys are being guided to one another, even if you can't, or maybe a little bit afraid that it's not going to flow in that um, direction of you. And what Spirit's saying is, yeah, it's going to, it will be flowing in your favor. You just got to give it a little bit of time. Um, you know, this right here, the Two of Wands is all about creating abundance. It's creating a life that you could be proud of. This is like growing old. It's retirement and just being really proud and connecting with this person. You know, I could really see a really big future for you and them. Um, and one that's like, you know, I don't know how many reads I've said this in, but it's like sitting on the porch swing with your um, person and we're growing old together and, and drinking our drink and just, you know, just look, just being happy, content. All right. So just know that that's what's coming for you guys through this connection. Just make sure that you keep your heart space open. And if this person kind of leans back or, you know, you feel their energy kind of drifting, you guys are not moving away from you. They're just processing through their emotions because I feel like this person really does not want to get hurt again. Um, you know, it's going to be healed. Everything's going to come together. I feel like if you guys have, um, you know, put into your mind space, like what kind of um, connection you've wanted with this person, it's going to come to fruition because this card is a manifestation card. All right. So I'm going to pull some initials and we're going to see who we could be talking to. If your initials don't show up, you guys don't take it personal. Um, it's more the energy is drawn from the cards. So let's see who we got. We have T, 
A P E another E and an F. All right, Cancer, I am leaving it there. You guys have a good weekend.